Hey guys, how are we doing today? Uh, thank you for connecting with us. Uh, we're gonna make, well, I'm gonna let Saul explain because uh, I told him that he's better than me on explaining material. So yeah. we're gonna make a sign. So he's gonna tell you what exactly we're gonna use. Today. Well, to be more specific, we're gonna make car magnets, but it's basically the same process. If you wanna make car sticker, uh, car decals, I can't even talk, you know, you guys make me nervous because we're live, we don't do this very often. <laughs> And no, I'm just kidding, but um, yeah, so the idea is to, uh, we're gonna make a few car decals and basically instead of applying them directly to the car, basically you have to do, what well, you have to do, you have to apply them to the magnet, which we have a huge role. And before we actually start with the process, we'll go over the materials, the tools that you will need, the basic ones, I know we're gonna miss a few of them, but at least you will get an idea if you are just getting started in this kind of business, you will get a basic idea of the materials, equipment, and softwares that you will need for this kind of business, okay? So here's a, our huge roll of magnet. What we usually do, we cut it manually. We do not use our cutters to cut the magnet. And the reason we do not use them is because they're just basic shapes, rectangles or squares depending on how big the customer wants the magnet to be. So we, we cut it accordingly to that size. And uh, the tools that we use for that are the uh, cutting mat, just a regular um, box, box cutter. <laughs> yeah, you don't see, you don't need anything fancy. Also a safety ruler and the magnet itself, that's part of the magnet. So, and to make the decals, you will need some kind of vinyl and a transfer. The type of vinyl we use is the Oracle 651 vinyl. We have all kinds of different sizes since we have different vinyl cutters. So Oracle 651 and the main transfer that we use is the Arte Clear Choice AT75. And you will also need a whole bunch of different tools like additional tools um, but we'll go over the basic ones, like uh, the ones that you really need to be able to make your decals or apply your decals, the squeegee, witter, and tape. And these are additional tools that we recommend that you guys get, the cutting knife. Uh, I mean, you can do, uh, you can just use regular scissors instead of uh, using the cutting knife. But the reason we use the cutting knife is because it's a lot safer when you are working directly on cars you do not want to scratch the surface and that's the reason we recommend that you guys get the cutting knife but yeah you can use scissors and it also uh, when you cut the backing paper it doesn't leave much residue also a rapid tack but you can also do in a bottle you can just put about 90 percent water the rest you can put some alcohol and just a few drops of uh, soap and uh, you will have a homemade rapid tack but now if you want to go fancy and if you want to get the rapid tack you can also get it um, after the live. We're going to leave some links or uh, you can go and check out our other videos after this live is over. You can go and check out our, uh, we have an Amazon affiliate store. We make a small commission. We appreciate it if you guys want to keep supporting us. Okay. And another thing before he keeps uh, advancing on the materials, I, I want to encourage you guys, if you like this stream to give us a like. And so that way uh, YouTube can recommend this video to people that are just getting started on this type of business and i want to we want to let uh we got 12 people live right now thank you so much That's, for mm -hmm. connecting with us and we have a comment from carol chat mom and she says does the spray affect the adhesive at all or the paint i mean uh, it does affect it temporarily i guess like for a few seconds and the way it does affect it is that uh, it prevents it from sticking faster. So basically you have a few seconds in case you need to reposition, especially when you are going to apply a second layer. If you guys see, we have our main, which is the darker blue. This is going to be our main background. Uh, obviously we have to get rid of the backing paper and the transfer. After we do that, then we'll apply the, the lighter blue on top of this one here. But to be able to apply it, I mean, you can do a dry application and we have the registration marks. Honestly, we do not need the rapid tag, but you can use the rapid tag. And um, again, you have you will have a few seconds. You can just reposition it and to get a better result. And it does not affect it. Like, are you um, asking if it's gonna come off or something? But I mean, so far 
we haven't had any issues with uh, when we use rapid tag or the homemade solution. Um, it's totally safe according to the instructions from the manufacturer. Uh, you can use any uh, or you can do a wet application safely at least when it comes to Oracle 651 vinyl. Okay. And a quick uh, tip: if you're gonna do an installation on glass or even maybe plastic, you may wanna go easy or try to avoid using the rapid tag or any wet solution because it, it takes a, a little bit to dry. It has happened to us before. We uh, it took us a lot to get the job done because we had to wait so long. But I yeah, mean, that's, a, that's a quick uh, thing to re consider. One thing I want to point out is that we've seen people do in wet application, but they use a different transfer. And I think that's one of the reasons that you got to ask yourself what type of transfer. At least the one we use, the uh, R-Tape Clear Choice AT75.1, it doesn't work out well when you do a wet application. But if you're using a uh, paper transfer, I guess you will get a different result. So we're not familiar with that type of transfer because we... We love working with AT75.1, so, okay, and... We're gonna get started, and uh, go we're gonna here. start with the... Actually... We're start with the Silhouette Studio, the software. Uh, well, it, so we have two different kinds of software. When we first started this business, we started with our graphic, which is right here. Uh, Luis, can you show them? This one here, it's not exactly this one, but uh, it's basically the same model, except this one is a 24-inch vinyl cutter. When we first started this business, we bought a small one, a, a 15 inch. And the reason, um, I mean, that's the reason we bought Corel Draw. And let me show it to you right here. This is Corel Draw. And this is the, uh, the design that we are going to work. Actually, is the bottom one here. Yeah, this is the, uh, the one we're going to make. So basically, we vector our images using this software, Corel Draw. And, oh, then, sorry. and then from here, we just convert them to PNG files and bring them to our Silhouette Studio, which you can download for free. And let me show you, oops. And I have the images right here. They are PNG files and I just bring them to our uh, Silhouette Studio. And again, this uh, studio, Silhouette Studio is for free. You can download it for free. Uh, Corel Draw is a little expensive, but yeah, we use it for mainly for um, our graphics, but you can also, work on your images directly from this software. That's one of the advantages of the Silhouette or the Cameo Cutter that you can just download the software for free. And what, uh, one of the things that we used to, um, uh, what I guess you could say mistakes, or one of the, let me move over here. One of the things that we learned the hard way is that um, we didn't know that we had to align the vinyl, no matter which vinyl cutter you're gonna use, if you're gonna work on a bigger design, a uh, bigger decal, and show them the the one that comes with the cameo that's oh yeah one. yeah yeah uh, for those that uh, don't have it or are just getting started you know that it, the cameo has this little container, container or holder for the yeah. roll to hold the roll but as we have mentioned in previous videos we use the transfer roller tape the metal thing that Saul has there because uh, I mean it, it gets better uh, what would you call it stability when you're gonna cut like big designs especially okay let's say if I was gonna use this which I'm gonna use right now the smaller vinyl um, I mean I can probably make it work except the roll uh, I mean at least I don't know what this would be called the holder or this thing that's holding the vinyl it's way bigger than the container or the holder this one will work just fine but except it's too thick and th that's why we don't even mess with this um, holder because we have this uh, the application rollers and it makes it a lot easier. I think I just broke it. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier when you are using really heavy rolls of vinyl. These, uh, this was a 50 yard and we usually get 50 and 10 yards. So um, yeah, I mean, that's the reason we had to get this, uh, the application rollers, which makes it a lot easier to align your vinyls. And also when you are cutting, um, let's say a, a decal that ha that's more than 90 inches long, which we have done with the Cameo, uh, makes it a lot easier to align your vinyl, okay? Plus uh, the transfer roller tape also helps you to put your own transfer if you don't have, like us, enough hands to work and putting on the transfer on. I don't know if you've seen uh, our videos with Cameo, 
you've seen the, how we use the transfer roller tape to add your own transfer. And yep. uh, we have a, a question from Carol. She says, how do you get company's logo into Corel? That's already done scan, I assume. Uh, well, we get them in different formats. Sometimes uh, our customers, they just send us pictures, like uh, if they have a business card. Uh, I, I'm sure you're familiar with this, or most people are familiar with this, that you know, when you ask the customer, they're like, oh yeah, we have our own logo, but it happens that they have it just in a, like a business card or just a really bad picture, and we have to vector them from uh, just using their, um, the picture, which can be a little bit of work, and that's one of the reasons we um, mainly focus on selling or making car decals, because most of the projects uh, are uh, around $500 and you can just include, I guess, the design in the, uh, the, the project, uh, unlike the, like a small project, like let's say business cards, you know, you, you're going to spend a lot of time vectoring a logo and making the design. And that's one of the reasons, um, like business cards or small projects, we don't really offer them unless we already have their design unless we worked previously with them, if, they made, if we made a decal for them and we already have the logo, like this one, for example, I already have the logo and everything, I can easily offer him business cards. Why? Because all I have to do is just uh, make it a little smaller, adapt it to a template, a business card template, and that easy, you know, it would only take a few minutes. But uh, I mean, it's just something that we learn, um, you know, like during this time and, uh, but yeah, I guess, I mean, hopefully that answers the question then. Uh, I encourage you guys to check out our channel. I believe Saul has uploaded a video about uh, how we work on Silhouette Studio, how we add the, yep. uh, what we call the registration marks, which yep. are these little squares here when we are going to layer colors on top of other layers. So um, you, it's a really good video. I believe it's going to ask some, some questions for you guys, for those who don't know how to do that type of stuff on Silhouette Studio. So. All right, let me clear uh, a little bit. I'm just going to move this thing out of the way so it doesn't really um, get in the way. Hopefully we don't drop it. Luis, do not record us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right yeah. now he's going to show you the settings well, on with um, the Oracle 651. Yeah, well, here, one thing I want to uh, tell you guys is that we always talk about aligning the vinyl. And uh, I mean, there are several steps that you got to follow to align it. It's not just placing the vinyl and making sure it looks good, but you also have to, like, at least with the cameo cutter, first I'm going to try to align it from here. And like the each vinyl cutter have, they have uh, like alignments. I guess you can call them little lines uh, here, and you can get an idea if the vinyl is aligned. But I mean that's one of the things that you gotta make sure. But also I'm gonna start feeding the vinyl to the machine. Now what I'm about to do, I'm, if you guys pay attention, I'm gonna send uh, a big amount to the back. Let me see. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, and just. Pay attention to how the vinyl is feeding, how if it's moving, and you can see that it is moving a little bit, and that's the reason you gotta do this step. See, I, I already have a um, like probably like 20 inches long, and if our design was 40 inches long, I know that if I send it like this, our vinyl is gonna uh, get out of alignment, and I'm gonna end up wasting uh, vinyl. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try again until I get it right. How big is the sign that we're going to work on right now? It's, uh, it's 16 like, by 12, right? Yeah, they're kind of small. These are probably the smallest magnets that we're going to make. But, um, okay, so I'm going to lift this side here. And I'm going to try to align it. Oh, I think I'm just going to start all over again, okay? Just and so the, we can the, show you. And the way he aligns the roll, it's down um, below the, the first, like, little tube there. Okay, so the, um, see, I think I'm not going to get it. I'm going to have to do it a third time. But just to show you, see how it is moving a little bit. And what I've noticed is that when you have small rolls, it takes a little bit. It takes me about three or four different times to get it. But when I have a huge roll, it's a lot easier to align it. And um, for some reason, yeah, the small designs are harder. No, the, I'm the, talking about the roll, the vinyl. Yeah, the, the, the roll. 
Yeah. Uh, it, it, I don't know for some reason when it's heavier, it gets better stability or. Yep. I don't know for some reason yeah. it's weird. And sometimes I mean this design doesn't really have to be like aligned like uh, let's say like a uh, hundred percent. I can probably make it work like this, but I'm just showing you guys. See, this one is a lot better when I'm feeding the vinyl. So if you pay attention here, it doesn't move that much. Now, what I'm going to do, obviously, send it back to the starting position. And it's not moving, see? So what I can do now, now I'm going to go ahead and send it, uh, send our uh, design. And I'm rolling it back. Okay? And let's go back here to our computer. Now I'm going to send it. And let me show you the settings. Of course, our... Um, Blade has been used quite a bit. Right now, our, uh, we have it at settings are three, cut force, 13. But we, uh, when we first got the machine, it used to be at nine, but now we have it at 13 and speed at 11. And now I can do a test cut, but I'm not gonna do that because I already um, cut it. Uh, I already cut uh, several <laughs> decals and I'm gonna send it. So this is a great machine. If you guys want to get started, you cannot wait to save money to get a graphic. Um, we usually compare them, which is not a fair, honestly, it's not a fair thing to do because the Cameo Cutter, right now you can get it for around $300. I mean, obviously you have to pay tax and all this stuff, but it's just to give you an idea about $300. Our graphic, this one here is about $1,800 huge difference that makes it what six times more expensive and um, I mean this machine might be a little bit slower compared to the graphic it makes a little bit of noise which I mean honestly it's not a big deal you know because um, but if you yeah, can okay. save a couple of hundred uh, dollars more you can get the Cameo Pro which is the 24 yep. inch the same size as the graphic right there because the bigger the, the plotter, the vinyl cutter is, the more like easier for you will be when it, uh, if you're gonna do like signs, like car magnets or car decals, stuff like that. And uh, I'm gonna say something here that because they have mentioned that uh, this is not a good machine, but I mean, not all people can afford a printer. We all know that a printer it's way better, we know it. But what we're trying to show you guys here are alternatives, like ways to make it if you don't have the printer, of course. It's easier, you don't have to deal with registrations and yep. aligning, layering, colors, and but there's ways to do it. So that's what we're gonna show you right now. And see the way I see it, like when you wanna get started, like you can um, start with about a thousand dollars and like if you want to start right off with a digital printer which would cost you i mean it depends on which digital printer we're talking about but we're talking about a more than ten thousand dollar investment a huge difference i mean you have to wait a couple of years unless you get it on credit but you know you never know how the business is going to turn out to be and yeah. <laughs> you want to yeah you want to take you know you want to be um, uh, uh, careful on the way i guess the way you invest your money but I mean, at least for us, you know, that's the way we look at it. And uh, a graphic is a good investment. But um, again, if you cannot wait, if you want to go ahead and get started, Cameo cutters are good, at good machines. Let me just say this. A lot of people focus on the equipment more than on the system. We focus on getting a good system like clients. And we actually have a, a couple questions about that. We have Terry W. She says, I need help with pricing. I'm gonna sign up for you, your pay group. I imagine she means the VIP or the, uh, what they call now YouTube, the, the funding. Uh, yeah, they have something. different names. Uh, it's the, the yeah, well, we really appreciate it. Yeah, we have videos about, when we talk about prices, we're gonna keep adding more in the future, more specific about how we price, but uh, here's a tip. Uh, every state, every country is different. Of course, we cannot tell, tell you exactly how much you're going to charge. You gotta, uh, as we have said on other videos, encourage you guys to do some local research. Call on like companies that do the same things that you guys are planning to do, whether our t-shirts, whether our car decals, car magnets. 
just call. I mean, we have done that. Um, there's companies here I don't want to mention. We have called on a few of them and find out that the prices were very alike. But one thing you can, you have to keep in mind is that uh, we work from home. We are self-employed. This, this is a family business. We don't have employees to pay. We don't have a shop or rent to pay. A lot of those things play a role, you know, on your pricing. So you gotta know what you have or what you can work with. And also, another thing that depends on the pricing is where you get your material yep, from. Yep. We get our material not from crafting stores, so I don't have to mention those. <laughs> Because you spend a lot of money there, we get them through a U.S. Cutter, which we'll be leaving a coupon for those who have never shopped there before. You can get a, a $20 discount. Uh, we're going to leave them up to the live on the comments or the description of the video. So, and just to give you guys an idea, when we, uh, like a few months ago, like our magnets, we were giving them for around $22.50 a square foot. It used to be one to two colors. If they added an extra color, we would charge additionally. But we uh, we keep trying different prices, you know, like right now, those that uh, we used to sell them, when we first started, we used to sell them for like $70. Right now, we're giving them for $100. Like the ones we're gonna make today, we sold them for $90. And uh, you just gotta keep trying, you know, everything's going up. When we first started getting from US Cutter, the 24 inch by 20, 10 yard, the rolls used to be $19.99. Now, I think right now they're like $29 something, like close to $30. Okay, our vinyl cutter is ready. Or do we have any? Uh, yeah, we have more questions. Uh, Jose Arana, best way to find new clients. We'll answer that in a few. Uh, let me answer to David C20. Hi there. First, thank you for sharing the video. I have a graphic. Plotter CFC 900, 64 inch, but I use to cut Windows 10 and PPF. What kind of blades is good to cut vinyl and what kind of software to yeah. use? I believe that's what. Uh, well, the, the blade that we use, at least uh, just keep in mind that uh, your vinyl cutter might be a little different. Yours is a 900, uh, is it, was it a 9000? Uh, it's a nine, yes. Yeah, because yeah, I know that's a different. I, 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 I know FC those are 900. I know those uh, like they have different um, I guess um, models. Ours is the CE 6060, which is the old version. Uh, the blade is the 45 uh, degree angle, and uh, yeah, that's the one we use. Uh, honestly, we don't really pay attention to the like the pressure, but I know the setting. We have it at uh, on the graphic right now. It's at about the same as the the uh, Cameo, which uh, we have it at 13, the cut force. And uh, to answer to Jose, the, uh, well, we, we also mentioned that before, the way we get clients is on social media. We use the Facebook, fa uh, I'm sorry, the Facebook book groups. groups. <laughs> I cannot even talk <laughs> English right now. <laughs> the face groups, uh, Facebook book groups and the classifieds, you know, uh, buy and sell stuff, uh, groups, all that kind of stuff. That's where we advertise our products, of course. We take pictures, clear pictures of the product and how it's going to look like. And so that way the, the customer gets an idea. Another way is that if you're just starting is on TikTok. We had we got so many leads on TikTok, Instagram too. People use Instagram too for advertising. And I mean, there are many ways. Uh, another way that I have done on, in the past, I have sold many decals on eBay, Etsy.com. There's a lot of websites. I mean, yeah. you can advertise and sell your products there. Uh, a quick tip is if you're just getting started and want to get leads and clients, uh, you should print yourself some uh, business cards. So whenever you sell a product, you, you put a, a business card on the product so that way the customer if in the future is going to need more stuff, can call you or a way to get in touch with you. So that's just another way. Just want to show you real fast. You. Uh, we printed, not, these are not ours, obviously, but I, uh, we had this customer and we already had the logo and everything. And they asked for business cards, this, uh, a thousand business cards. And yeah, we um, sold them for 140 and I mean, obviously you had to pay for the business cards, but uh, that's a way, a good way to make some extra money. 
I thought about it now that Luis was talking about uh, making your own business cards. Um, if you learn how to make them, then you can also start making a little bit extra money if you already have their logo. I mean, you, not, you got nothing to lose. That's how you get leads. That's yeah. how we get leads. One customer can bring more, maybe two, three customers, and those customers bring more. That's how we build our system, like all, you know, clients. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start winning out, and the reason I want to show you is the, uh, so you guys see the details that we were able to get with our uh, Cameo Cutter. Um, I got... I added weeding boxes. We always talk about them to make it easier. And uh, let me show you, I'm gonna go by sections and that's the whole reason we do the uh, the registration marks. I mean, not the registration marks, the, um, oh, okay, yeah. The uh, weeding boxes is to make it easier. See, I'm going, I started from the center. I could have started from the bottom, but this is a weeding box. I'm going by sections. Our decal is really small. There was really no need for me to probably add as many uh, wooden boxes. I'm going to start from here now and see, I did that section. Now I'm doing this bottom section. I'm doing it by parts. It's a lot easier when you do it like this instead of doing all in one piece. And now we're going to get to the part which is going to be like probably the best part, the more, more challenge, honestly, when working with a uh, smaller vinyl cutter. But I just wanted to show you the uh, small, very small details that we were able to get with our Cameo cutter, which is only about $300. You know, you can't really ask for much. <laughs> See, let me, without this section. I mean, it looks good. I mean, the the the, the cuts the for being a three hundred dollar uh, vinyl cutter, it's it's not really bad. I mean, this I don't know if you guys can see the details. This design right here. I could have probably worked a little bit on the uh, like uh, making the details a little better to weed out, but um, I mean it works. Let me show you the uh, how once after we are done weeding out we. Yeah. Of course, I'm not gonna show you the whole process right now. I, I already have a um, magnet, I guess, uh, that we worked earlier and is ready to be applied. Let me go and help Nacho here. Oh no, he's, he's got it, he's got it. Yeah, he was just showing you the waiting boxes, how easier it is when you add the waiting boxes and how the cuts. Yep. for this machine looks like if you're planning to get one and you only have a small, um, you know, you don't have enough money to invest and want to start building your system like your customers, uh, this is a good way to start. And we already have, like I mentioned earlier, we have our different layers. We cut them previously and look at the uh, small details that we got. I mean, this probably was the bigger challenge work when winning out but we were able to get every single detail. Now we are ready to apply our magnet, I mean our decal. And let me go get the um, rapid tag. We can do a dry or a wet application like we mentioned in the intro. The main color, we're gonna do um, a dry application. But this is the rapid tag that we were talking about. And we're gonna use it to apply the uh, different layers, the uh, like the second layer. And uh, yeah, I want to go over the little tools that we, we will need. I think we were uh, we went over them, right? I think. Yeah. We're, okay, never yeah, mind we that. Um, okay, never mind. <laughs> I let forgot. Me, and before you move on, let me ask. Uh, there's a few questions here. David C20 says, "What software is good and easy to use? Uh, make vinyl decals." Uh, well, as I mentioned, we used uh, for the graph deck, which is the main. Pl uh, cutting plotter that we use for car decals. We use uh, CorelDRAW 6, which is an older version, but uh, today they have, I believe, the 2021, that's the newest one. And we're gonna leave all the links below. It's a really good uh, software, that enough for, you know, like making vinyl decals. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be uh, completely honest with you. I think all the softwares, <laughs> have their challenges. CorelDRAW took us a little bit to be able to vector our images. 
but uh, I guess we all learn at different paces. Like if you like uh, when we first started, like I was uh, probably spending a couple of hours a day, but someone that spends four hours is going to learn twice as fast. So every software is different and they all have their own challenge challenges. But um, I think CorelDRAW is a good software to like once you get the hang of it, then everything else will be easy. And another question from Jose Arana. Thank you for answering my question. What's the I I ideal temperature to install decals on cars and windows? Well, uh, we usually try to avoid uh, not to do them outdoor. If it's going to be an outdoor installation, uh, if it's below 40, because uh, not only it's cold for you, but the vinyl, it's a little harder to, you know, make the installation and a lot of things play a role there. And if it's a, you have to layer colors, it's really hard for uh, like doing the wet application because it takes a lot uh, to dry because, you know, it's cold. Yeah. So we recommend... Um, Ideally 50. Uh, 50 and above, yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, can I, I'm going to start uh, applying our vinyl and... In case you're not familiar, we have three different layers. We have the backing paper, the blue is our vinyl, and the vinyl has the adhesive at the bottom. And then the one on top, the one that I'm holding with my hand, left hand, is the transfer, the one that has to come off too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this method. I could have easily put a huge tape here and do uh, from the top to the bottom, but I'm gonna do like from the sides, and I'm just gonna peel it off and then I'm gonna use my cutting knife, the one we talked about, and it doesn't leave, or it does leave a little bit of residue, nothing compared to our scissors. And um, I mean, it's a good option when you are working directly with, with cars. And uh, I need to get rid of this little thing here inside the letter. We missed this part here. And I wanna get rid of it right now because I'm not gonna wait till we apply it to the magnet because it makes it a little bit hard to take it off. Now, I'm gonna do a wet up, a dry application. These are probably the smallest magnets that we've made. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's a good way to make quick money. Yeah, like, Plus, um, we're, you, you know, right now, uh, it, there's snow outside and it's cold, so you get to work inside from home, you know. Uh, we love making car magnets. Plus, uh, I don't know if you watched the last video we made, that's actually one of our top uh, most sold items in our yep. business, the car magnets. Yep, and basically you can do the same thing directly to cars instead of applying it on um, magnets. It might be a little bit more uncomfortable, like if you are working with like bigger decals, it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but at the same time, you're gonna make more money compared to making car magnets. Now I'm going to remove our transfer. I'm gonna do it slowly, carefully, because it's the high tag, which sometimes when you are peeling it off, some of the letters or small details may come off. In case one of them uh, comes off, don't, don't panic. You can still use the rapid tag. That's what we always have it next to us. Just in case something goes wrong and we have to place it back, uh, the decal. Yep. We have different registration marks for different uh, the different colors. Now, uh, for the next step, I think you should do. do the blue one at uh, yeah. the wet application. So yeah, I can, can do the bottom too, probably. I, I'm just going to use a little bit of rapid tag, just enough. And uh, to show you guys the reason we use it, like I mentioned earlier, we can easily do um, a dry application using the registration marks. But see, you have a few seconds. If we didn't have our registration marks, we could align it just by using our eyesight, which I'm not gonna do because we have our registrations. And it's a lot safer. Perfect. It, yeah. it only takes a few seconds, sometimes depending on the weather. Yep. Uh, it might take a minute or two, but I mean, no biggie. Now okay. I can do the, the other color, the yellow color. And I'm gonna turn it this way. And I'm gonna do the same uh, wet application or uh, yeah, we're, uh, we got more questions, but we'll, we'll answer them uh, when he finishes doing the, this sign, so that way we can 
move on to other subjects. For some reason, our transfer is acting up. I think this vinyl, like we hadn't used it for a little bit. It was just sitting there. I don't know if it has to do something with that. And again, okay, guys, yeah. we really appreciate if you give us a like. So YouTube recommends this uh, video to people that are just starting their business or are planning to start a new decal business. Uh, we're going to answer your questions and make more videos. So that way um, we can hopefully answer most of your questions. But uh, we're going to work on pricing so give you a kind of an idea it won't be accurate as like as we mentioned you know we are gonna tell you how we price some of our products cars are a little harder because it depends the model and how much uh, they want to how, how many decals they want on their car so we get all types of um, i'm going to start with this side here and usually bigger decals are a bit a little bit of a challenge to align them and yeah, we're gonna, if you haven't joined our VIP, we have one for, um, of course, the pricing and behind the scenes. And the other one, which is just the $2 one, is for the ASMR uh, videos. Uh, the, we have some people that have requested that. So we decided to uh, open a new membership for people that like those type of videos, relaxing feel. Yep. Uh, if you wanna join either one. I would really appreciate it. Now I'm going to start removing this. I'm going to be careful. We just applied it not too long ago. And I used quite a little bit to be able to align it really good. But so far so good. And now I'm going to remove the registration marks. As we mentioned earlier, you don't even have to touch the surface. Just do one side like that. Be really careful when you are working directly on cars. Do not use a lot of force. See that easy? And now I'm gonna probably just wait a little bit for the bottom and I'm gonna squeegee a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of the squeegee here. And I may give it a try, see what we get. I may have to wait a little bit, but good so far. And again, you can make, uh, for those that don't know, uh, you can make uh, t-shirts with uh, Cameo 4.2. Uh, you just gotta use the proper uh, material. We use the HTB we use is the Scissor Easy Weed. Uh, you can also make uh, yard signs, of course, car magnets, even car decals. We have videos about even, you know, car decals, uh, projects, a few of them of how we made those projects with just a 12 inch cutting plotter like the Cameo 4. Even wall decals, you can also do those too. Now I'm going to remove the bottom registration mark. I try not to put too much pressure on the, at least for the second vinyl. Uh, see, this one came off easy. But unfortunately, the one at the bottom, I have to apply more pressure because we want to make sure that sticks to our surface. And you want to remove them as quick uh, after you're done right away because the longer this, they stay, uh, they might get sticky and some residue left, but no biggie. Just add some um, rapid tag. And if it doesn't come off, we use the one that's uh, Goo Gone. That's the Goo Gone, yeah. Which is an uh, adhesive remover, but it's not as aggressive as the Goo Off because yep. that one is more aggressive. These are, uh, again, smaller uh, car magnets. It was uh, the customer's request. He said he just wanted something uh, to show his logo, his number. In the end, he ended up adding a little bit more stuff, like this section here, controlled by GPS, and uh, this machine here, the saw. And um, I mean, in the end, we, <laughs> we had to add more information, which is not really recommended because the magnet is 12 by 16 and has a lot of, quite a bit, a little bit of information and the two images, uh, but I guess we just want to make him happy. You know, that's our goal. And, and yeah. yeah, before we close this video, let, let us answer more questions. Uh, Terry W says, I have a Cameo and a Roland BN20A. 
uh, trying to figure it out. I should just buy an Oracle and cut it on the Roland. And for stiff that needs full color, use the media for the Roland for that. Trying to figure it out more about the cost effective. Uh, well, yeah, we we all struggle with that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, like from getting the products at the at the best price to pricing our products. I believe everyone, uh, you know, everyone uh, struggles with that in the beginning. That's a very uh, normal thing. But I mean, the more research you do, the more you're gonna learn. And I mean, always like we said, you know. Uh, try to be known to be not not for being the cheapest, but for being the best. Yeah, giving the best quality items at an affordable price, not too cheap. <laughs> um, also, one thing I want to point out on one of our videos, I don't know if it was the last one or the one before that, someone mentioned about that uh, the graphic was way better than Cameo to cut the HTV vinyl. <laughs> Honestly, it took probably two or three times longer than it should if we would have used the graphic, but that's not the point. The point is to, like Luis mentioned in the intro, the point is to give you guys options for those that are just getting started and don't wanna invest crazy money in a vinyl cutter. That's the reason we are making these videos because obviously if, you, if we use the, uh, the graphic, we're gonna get better results faster. Um, it's just, there's no, there, it's not a fair, I guess uh, when you compare them, it's not fair to do that, but uh, this I mean, is a great machine. The, but what will be the fun of that, right? Yeah. We like challenges. <laughs> I know. So it goes with us. Another question, uh, David C20. Is CorelDRA a monthly or one-time pay software? They have two different kinds. They got the monthly and they got the, the one we have uh, is the uh, the one time we, I think we paid like 350 back then about eight years ago, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Six, I, mean, that was I believe they still do the disc. Uh, so you can download it on your computer. It's a one-time payment, but you gotta be sure because uh, the computers today, uh, some of them, they don't have the disc anymore. So you gotta be sure you buy uh, either a disc, if he has, if your computer has a disc, or if if it doesn't, I believe Amazon- You can download, you download, download it. Download it straight from them, so. Also, another thing is that uh, they have different versions, one for Windows, one for, uh, um, Apple or Mac, Mac but yeah. yeah, just gotta make sure that you get the right one. That's one of the reasons we don't leave any links about the software because, um, you know, it's a little complicated when it comes to getting CorelDRAW. Make, uh, just gotta make sure that you do research and get the, the right one because, I mean, 350, right now they're like 450 if you do a one-time payment, which it's a little high, <laughs> honestly. It's yeah. more expensive than the vinyl, the vinyl cutter itself. And another question from Terry W. What would you charge for that? Well, uh, well, he charged ninety dollars. Yeah, I charged ninety dollars. By the pair. That's yeah. one thing. Well, honestly, uh, like the the first price or the first sample that I sent the customer was just one color, and but they were bigger, and uh, he he told me he wanted to add more stuff to it, and in the end, I made him a little bit bigger because he was like, no, that's way too big for my uh, my car, so I want him to be a little bit bigger, uh, smaller. And I was like, you know, like since you added more colors and uh, a little bit of work for us, in the end, uh, I, I told him that it was going to be the same price. So ninety dollars for uh, the two magnets. Uh, but again, just uh, do local research, find out the local prices, and uh, I guess I mean you're not going to charge exactly the same because uh, maybe the other person is using a different method. But I mean, something you just got to keep in mind. And uh, she asked, what size it is? Uh, Twelve it by is sixteen. 12 by 16, yes. The, and like I said, uh, we always sell them by the pair. We don't sell them. We try to avoid not to sell them and this is three, unless they're bought from us before. And they, if they, sometimes that has happened, they lose one and they just want to get one more. And that's another reason why we advertise this type of signs because a lot of the times <laughs> they just keep coming back and getting yeah. more. Uh, yeah. We keep telling them, even though we're honest with them, we tell them that the decals will be much better for them. But I mean, they want to, you know, I guess they want to save some money or they just starting, which is understandable. And, yep. uh, we have another question from Sam Young. She says, if we have a cutter, what is the startup cost to make the signs? There are so many things that uh, you got to consider. Again, um, 
we mentioned earlier about where you get the materials from. Um, when we first started, we were doing 2250 a square foot, and it was just um, one to two colors. Right now, we're doing about $25, uh, a little bit more, depending on how big the magnets are. But it's a good, uh, just a number so you get an idea. Uh, if, if you get the vinyls from a local store, obviously, you're going to have to <laughs> charge more because uh, I think for us, last time I checked, the square foot of vinyl we were getting about, I think it was less than 50 cents. It was like 44 cents, 45 cents. Uh, in the end, applying the uh, the transfer, it was around 70, I would say, 70 cents. Uh, but if you get it from a local store, like I think you would pay over a dollar just for the vinyl itself without including the transfer. So, uh, you know, that makes a huge difference too. Yeah, and yeah, like Saul said, uh, try to stay away from crafting stores. If you're just starting, I mean, that's good. But uh, after, you know, a while you want to find some better sources, do some research, get them for a better price. But of course, you got to get them on big quantities. That's yeah. another thing. Don't see it as an expense, but more as an investment for your business. Yep. And another thing I want to mention is, uh, well, she asked, like, what would be the cost for, uh, like, uh, can you think of a, like a price, how much the investment for these signs were? With the uh, I need to the check, magnet? I need to check the, uh, probably after the life, because uh, right now, if I say a number, it's Let's just going to be guessing. Up, uh, it's in more than $10 for both, the investment, uh, what do you think? Probably uh, around that price. I, I'm gonna do research because honestly, like if I say a number, it's just gonna be a wild guess <laughs> because I haven't checked the prices for the magnets. I know the, about the vinyl, but not the magnet, which in the end is more expensive than the vinyl itself. So, but I'll, I'll make sure that I check it out and I'm gonna leave a comment and just to give you an idea of how, how much we, just for the materials, that doesn't include the lining, it doesn't include the wear out and the, like the machines and all that, but. Um, Maybe I mean, he'll just try so to uh, make a video and show it to you in the software uh, with also the price where we get the the, the yeah. materials. Um, it'll be yeah, maybe it'll, on VIP soon. <laughs> so, so many things that we got to do, you know, like uh, we're so behind. We have another channel in Spanish and we're basically doing the same thing. So uh, just be patient with us. <laughs> we got so much going on. But uh, yeah, we'll work on something like that. But I guess we'll let you guys know. And, uh, you know, yep. sometimes we may not have the, uh, the, I guess, the right answer, but we try, you know, we try to do our best. Yeah, we don't want to give you the wrong information, too. Yep. So we want to give you facts. Yeah. Uh, again, just try to, to invest on your business, on your customers. They will eventually like you and like the product and they'll come back again. I mean, that's yep. how we keep our base. That's how we keep our customers. We offer them the best product and they keep coming back i mean for a reason they like yeah. the, the product too another thing i want to point out is that about the magnets can you get the roll Nacho? um let me move this stuff so he can put the roll here like something that we 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 did at first because i know uh, everything's getting really expensive but the way we got into selling car magnets luis mentioned that this is the one of the products that we sell a lot but before we started getting the huge roll, which right now this roll cost about $180 and it's 24 by 50 feet. And um, we used to get, uh, I think it was like six or 12 magnets. They were 12 by 24 and they were around 250, 260 each one. It was way more expensive than getting the roll itself. But I mean, like we weren't sure how they were gonna sell. And once we started, uh, you know, offering them to the customers, uh, you know, they took off and that's when we realized that we had to invest more money So if you want to be a little bit safer if you don't want to spend invest money in a, a huge roll, which is almost $200 uh, If you only get the roll then you have to pay shipment and all that so uh, it's going to be about $200 So it can get a little expensive and uh, I recommend that you guys get uh, They they can sell you like I don't know if it's like six of them or twelve and uh, for a smaller amount, but in the end, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. But if you just want to, uh, don't want to take your chances of not selling the magnet, uh, yeah, I guess that's a good way to go uh, about it. And also the magnet, the same thing with the, uh, the vinyls too. If you want to get like the 10 yard instead of the 50 yard, and then 
after a while you will get an idea of which color you need to get more of. Yeah, hopefully we answer most of your questions. Thank you for those, uh, all of, of you guys who connect uh, in our live stream. And also thank you for those that will come in later, hopefully. You guys found this video uh, helpful for you, for your business. And again, we really appreciate if you give us a like. So that way YouTube recommends this video to a lot of people that are starting their decal business. Thank you so much. And anything you guys want to add? No, help us get to 100 uh, likes on yeah. this video and uh, hopefully <laughs> in, like. in a few days. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you so much, guys. We appreciate all your support. You guys are the reason we are making this content. Sometimes we know, we'll know the answers, sometimes we won't, and it's just the way it is. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you guys are learning from us and the same way we did from other people. Yeah. We're just sharing the knowledge and I know we are going to make mistakes along the way, but we are willing to do that. You know, we are willing to take the chances, make a fool of ourselves. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to, to um, um, you know, hopefully you guys inspire you to do something about it, to start your own business. Okay. Oh, and, wow. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And yeah, I wish you the best this new year. And yeah, hopefully you guys make money, too. And again, be consistent, be persistent. Oh, that's the same, same thing. Basically, same. <laughs> something but, like you that. But, you know, on, on social media, you yep. know, uh, it's sell for free. your products. Not, yeah. You're not going to get leads every day. Uh, there's been a couple of days since we, you know, we got a call or two. But it's that time of the year. So, you know, it's it's normal, I guess. But uh, try to be consistent and get as ma as much information as you can on um, pricing from local, you know, people that do the same stuff. Just go to Google, find uh, decal stores or places and just, you know, try to do some research on pricing. So yeah. that way you get a kind of an idea of how much you should charge for your products. So and right. try also to sell them on uh, retail, like uh, wholesale pricing, like Try to make them get more so they get a better price. Yeah. So always value your work and yeah. your job. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And anything else, guys? No, no. See no. you guys until the next time, next week. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. See you later, Bye. Alligator. <laughs>